everybody. So I wanted to follow up on our previous video, which was open broadcaster software, how to record gameplay. Now, one of the things you might be considering is adding a face cam in there as well. A lot of people that are streaming videos on live stream or whether they're recording videos, they might also be adding their image in there. And they're using that with the webcam on open broadcaster. Now, we still have our how to record setting up, which if we hit the preview, we're still recording Diablo here. And we want to be able to add, you know, a small capture screen in there. So one of the ways to do that, you'll see a lot of folks that, you know, either have it at the top right, the bottom right, somewhere along the way, and they're going to add it in there. One of the ways that you can do that is to add another source. And the way we do that is we go to Global Sources. We already have the webcam in there, but for the sake of this video, we'll go ahead and add. We're going to add a new one. And it's a video capture device. And we'll call this one Webcam 2, since we already have one in there. You just hit OK. And it goes through all the different devices. Now, if you have multiple capture devices, there's going to be more of a list here. Now, you can just leave that there. You can do all kinds of different stuff here. If you have some type of green screen, you could use Chroma Key there. That's going to be up to you. But everything else, you can pretty much leave the same. Now, one of the things, we'll go ahead and hit OK. A global device using that already exists. So we'll go ahead and go back to our original webcam. We'll hit OK. And then you need to add that to the source. So you add the source, you go to Global Source, and you can click your webcam or whatever you named it as. And then you can enter another name for it as kind of a placeholder. And then it's very important here that if you do this in different order that there's a hierarchy here. So the webcam is first, it's going to be on top of Diablo 3 test. If you did move this down and you previewed your stream, you would not see the webcam. However, you move this up to the top, and hello, welcome. That is way too big to be on your screen. So what do you do? You hit edit scene, and then you see these red boxes pop up, and we don't want to have our face on here too much, so we're going to size that way, 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 way. I'm getting smaller, and I've almost... Okay, so we'll bring it back to a more reasonable option, and then you can just kind of tuck it there, size it to your liking, and go exactly however you want it to be and then there you go now you've added a face cam there if you're streaming and you don't want that on there you can simply finish hitting edit scene and then uncheck the webcam and there you go and that's exactly how you add a face cam to either a recording or a live stream depending on what you want to do so that's it guys hopefully this helped you a little bit as far as getting this set up I know a lot of you folks are looking and, and very interested in recording video, maybe adding different elements to it. So we're going to cover a couple different ones uh, that are, you know, might be beneficial. We'll cover the live stream. We've got the recording one set up. So hopefully that helped you. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those below. If you like the video and you want to leave a comment, leave that below as well. Or if you just want to hit that like button, that would be greatly appreciated. We're going to be doing more tech tip videos in the near future, so feel free to hit subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.